Shadow and I have come again to the edge of the Mojave Desert in search of clear blue skies that turn dark at night, away from city lights, away from light pollution, and higher elevation, all of which lend themselves to ideal conditions for astrophotography. And that's what we did last night. So we captured an image that I had been wanting to go after for a long time, but just hadn't had a chance to get around to it. There's so many of them out there. And this is a galaxy, a galaxy that is approximately 30 million light years from Earth, and it has an unusual shape. So galaxies, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is one of many galaxies. How many galaxies? Well, before the J.W. Webb, astronomers and scientists estimated there were approximately two trillion galaxies in the universe. Two trillion. And guess what? They were wrong. The J.W. Webb has turned all these estimations upside down on their heads. It can peer far deeper into the outer edges of the universe, and edge is probably the wrong word, outer parts of the universe than we've ever been able to see before. And it's seen galaxies after galaxies after galaxies. I mean, how many galaxies are there? Nobody really knows now. Some even say they may be infinite. I'm walking along this little dry stream bed because it's a little windy out there, but down here in this little gully, I'm able to avoid the wind so that you don't hear windy sounds blowing through the microphone. So our galaxy, our Milky Way, is now just one of trillions. Who knows, maybe even an infinite number of galaxies. And last night, we went after just one of those. And this particular galaxy is known as M104, or the Sombrero Galaxy. And it has some unusual features about it. It's approximately 30-ish million light years from Earth. And that's a close galaxy. Our nearest galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy. It's 2.5 million light years from Earth. And it's a big one. The Sombrero Galaxy is approximately 30 million light years from Earth, and it is likewise approximately the size of our, of our Milky Way. But it has some unusual features to it. It has a dark, dense ring of matter around it, molecular space dust and gases and asteroids and so forth. And then in the center of it, is a super massive black hole. And that black hole is interacting with the matter within the galaxy, the stars and, and the nebulae and so forth, in such a way that it's creating tremendous radiation. And that radiation is emitting in a diffuse pattern in all directions. And so this galaxy that is elliptical has this ball, <laughs> kind of a ball of, of uh, light and radiation bulging out of it from the middle. And so we see it edge on, and from edge on, it gives it a look a lot like a sombrero. Let's take a walk up where it is a little windy, and I'll show you where we were imaging, what we imaged with, and what we captured. Finding some shade there, Shadow. So here is where we set up. And throughout the night, I was able to camp in my new little Capri camper, which is a significant upgrade from the past. So it was very comfortable. But the wind was blowing and it was blowing pretty hard. So you can see that tarp that I set up there. And it was blowing from the opposite direction towards us. So that helped a lot. Let me uncover the scope here. And 
this is what we were imaging with last night a 190 millimeter aperture Maxitoff Newtonian telescope it's a thousand millimeter length and we use the uh, Orion G 26 camera it's a full color CMOS camera a great camera and that's a, a great setup right there for the sombrero galaxy that we were going after it was right up there and it crossed just over the camper throughout the night sky we were able to capture 100 minutes of 15 second sub exposures and i have not processed the image yet but i have saved it just as it was on the computer screen as it was building live using electronically assisted astrophotography which the camera connects to the computer and each sub exposure of 15 seconds as they come in they get stacked and the image on the screen just grows and gets richer and richer as you get more and more data it comes to life it, it's really a, a fun process and it's really cool to see it as it's it's building right before your very eyes but let's go into my little home away from home now and I'll show you what we have so far and then I will process it and show you the final image at the end of the uh, video. So I'm gonna pull out the computer. And there you have it. The Sombrero Galaxy. You can see that the ring of dark matter that circles it on the outside. The diffuse bubble of light and radiation caused by the massive black hole in the center that's interacting with hot new stars and other reactions that we don't fully understand because we can't peer into a black hole but it's causing that diffuse radiation giving the galaxy the appearance of a sombrero so i'm going to take that home i'm going to process it and i'll show you the final image i hope you like it